a triple zero program that's prevented the unnecessary dispatch of 21,000 ambulances in a year will become permanent in Queensland. Lauren Forbes joins us live from the Gold Coast. Lauren, will it be enough to take pressure off hospitals there? Well, Danica, the state is injecting $14.5 million into Queensland's Ambulance Service Clinical Hub to make it permanent. Now, it provides a secondary triage to patients at the state's Emergency Operations Centre to work out what's the most appropriate healthcare pathway for patients. And last year alone, it diverted 21,000 callers, which is avoiding uh, the dispatch of an ambulance for each case. But this comes, the cash splash comes as uh, the Health Minister Shannon Fentiman faces increasing criticism over ambulance ramping and long wait times at the emergency department. New figures released this week show that on average 21 ambulances are left waiting each hour outside overcrowded emergency departments, while the state of the ED has been laid bare on the state government's hospital performance website, showing 11 out of 106 hospitals, Danica, are delivering care to patients to 100% of their patients in a clinically appropriate time frame. Okay, Lauren, thank you for the update.